So, hello, my name is Rivka. It's wonderful to see you here, slash, um, know that you are benefiting from watching this video. Um, we are going to do a prayer to King Ha. One show up in the door. Um, it is page 16 on my edition. If you're using the One Show website to watch this, um, there should be a liturgy below for you, uh, 3xdaily.org. Um, that's where you would find it. So I'll give us a second to just get our liturgy ready and sort of breathe in and out. Okay, here we go. A song before the verses of praise. A song for the dedication of your people. I praise you, El Shaddai, for lifting me up above my enemies. Adonai Raphai, I call to you and you heal me. You kept my soul from destruction and preserved me from darkness. Sing to Melech HaMelechim and praise the name. Your anger is brief, but your love lasts forever. The night may bring weeping, but the dawn will bring peace. When everything was good in my life, I felt strong because you made me strong. But when I couldn't feel you, I was ter terrified. I pleaded with the Lord, what good would my death be? How can I honor and praise you if I'm dead? Be compassionate to me and help me. You've turned my sadness into dancing. You have taken away my darkness and dressed me in light, so my soul will praise you eternally. At nine, I will praise you forever. Kaddish. May your name be great and holy in the world which you have made your way. May the presence of Hakadosh Baruch Hu be over you in your life and the life some of your people. May Adonai be blessed forever. The greatness of Hakadosh Baruch Hu is beyond all words. Blessed is Adonai. For those who choose to be chosen, for students and teachers of Torah, here or anywhere, may we all have blessings. May we all have peace and love. Amida. I am grateful to you, protector of all, our God and God of our ancestors. Elohe Avram, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Rizka, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Elohe Rachel. Adon Olam, who created goodness, who inspires us to repair the world in compassion. King, Queen, Savior, and Shield, blessed are you. Shield of the Patriarch, Shield of the Matriarch, and of us all. Adon Olam, give us knowledge. After giving us knowledge, accept our repentance. After accepting our repentance, forgive us our shortcomings. After forgiving us our shortcomings, redeem us. After redeeming us, heal us. After healing us, bless our lives. After blessing our lives, bring us together. After bringing us together, judge us fairly. After judging us fairly, defeat the evil in us. After defeating our evil, strengthen our inclination to do good. Now that we are holy before you, make the earth heavenly for us. Hear our prayers and make us worthy of your goodness. Baruch hasar anai ha'el ha'kadosh. Baruch hasar anai osei ha'shulam. Baruch hasar anai sama'a tefila. Amen. So, I hope you enjoyed that portion. I hope it fulfills what you need for the day. So, discussion. What did I find today? I did not find a lot of things going on that were uh, interesting. But here's what I found. I was watching, I was looking through Jewish Daily, uh, IdeasDaily.com. Um, it's a good source for um, information. And the article I saw was Identity Equals Question Mark. It's by Yehuda Mirsky. Um, and it kind of caught my attention, oddly enough, because it, it picture for it is a t-shirt that says half Jewish is better than none. I don't know exactly what that uh, implicates, but it's interesting looking picture. So I, I said, okay, let's look at it. So what does it say? In discussion of the elusive identity known as Jewishness, few terms have come, become so ubiquitous that the consequence so elusive as Jewish identity. The phrase regularly serves as the name of com a communal dream, the wish for end product that vast apparatus of education, institution building, and programming aim to instill and perpetuate. But what is it? And I take this this paragraph and I think, what is Punk Flora doing? Punk Flora is working for an end product, um, helping people along their path. Uh, and their Jewishness, their identity, 
and they're packed by Hashem. Um, what are we doing? They say apparatuses of education. We do education. We do Torah study every every Monday night at 7 p.m. We do discussions like this. We do all sorts of things that are educational. We have classes. In fact, one tonight, 7 p.m. Institution building. Now that's an interesting one. What institution building are we doing? We're not actually building a building. But what we're building is a community. And that's what's one. The communal dream. We have punk Torah. We have Lunchal. We have all sorts of great things to draw from. So, the next question is, what is its relation to the classical terms like Torah and Mitzvah? Where do we stand there? And the beauty of punk Torah is, we stand everywhere. Each of us are in their own place, at their own time, at their own speed. And what is punk Torah, what is one tool for? To help. So, I think... We're, we're building an identity. We're building the punk identity. The countercultural, um, unique ideas that aren't found in mainstream. And, and in doing so, we're building a very interesting, diverse, and intelligent community. Um, this article goes on to talk about what it used to mean to be Jewish. When originally uh, one was categorized by how they grew up. If your parents were Jewish, you were Jewish, whether or not you followed the religion. If your parents were Catholic, you were Catholic, no matter what religion you were. But the Jewish part is interesting because you have um, those that are, um, you have some some interesting things. In a Gallup poll in the New York Times, it found that um, growing numbers of children of intermarried parents now actively identify themselves as Jews. And it's this significant proportion do so without either conversion to Judaism themselves or relinquish, relinquish or giving up their other ethnic or religious affiliations. So now we have this beautiful thing going on where we have people, we have like we have all sorts of nationalities and um, identities and um, groups and religions that are studying us and ethnicities that are all being combined together. All of us bring strengths and weaknesses to the Jewish um, people as a whole. And so this diverse um, group is is just only going to make us better. How, how can it not? Increase the gene pool, increase the ability to um, be considered Jewish, um, increase the likelihood that someone who isn't necessarily brought up religious will identify with that. And that's another place punk court can help. Those that didn't grow up Jewish, that want to learn, that want to study it, but still want to have, you know, the, uh, freedom that each of us uh, create. Um, they said that this, this mixing and matching um, it's not really you know the traditional dogma, Jewish or otherwise, but it's what makes their Jewish identity meaningful. But what is it? What is, instead of signifying that individuals are what they are in a fixed sense, such as X equals X. Identity, day, really means what the individuals feel themselves to be. What is that outside face, that mask that we put on to deal with the real world? What identity is that? When you come home, you have a different identity. If you have, uh, do you not act Jewish in the out, uh, outside world and, and, and are very observant at home? Do you act and dress one way at work and have to, and feel that you need to dress and act another way at home? This, this X equals X doesn't work anymore because we're so diverse and we're becoming so much stronger that 
we all have to find our identity. And our identity is unique, individual, and important. So, in summation, I find that it's great that we're talking about the fact that Judaism is becoming so diverse to the point that we're having, you know, Asian American observant Jews um, to, you know, uh, a local group that are um, almost all African American that are Hebrew, Hebrewists, that are Hebrew, Israelites, they call themselves. This, this whole um, expansiveness can only serve to help us only serve us to find more and more identity, which is, you know, another thing why I'm so excited about the God Project. Well, this is defining part of your identity, your religious ideology, separate from every other ideology that you have to have. So it's great. So um, if you have any ideas or uh, comments, please feel free to email me. Let me know if there's an article that's interesting, something that you want to see written, or you have something interesting to say. Um, you can get me at Rivka, Rivka at punktora.org. If you've enjoyed this service, uh, please think about donating. Uh, not just money, but time is just as important, if not more. Um, there is always been a call, and as seen in the Reform Sedora Ion for the lay population to increase their education and give back by helping with services. And if you can do that, that's great. If you can't and you have a little bit of money, you can help out. You can use PayPal, uh, punctora at gmail.com. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed this and I've been somewhat helpful. Tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. we'll do the morning services. Um, tonight, 7 p.m., class on wellness um, inspired by the Torah. I'm really interested to see it. I hope I get to come. It uh, depends on when somebody else makes my dinner. Huh? Um, and then uh, we won't have services again until uh, 7 p.m. on Monday for Torah study. Uh, after that, you have a whole weekend for Purim. So in advance, enjoy. And I hope to see you again. Uh, take care.